I didn't really seek to join a terrorist group. That was not my ambition, not at all. Uh, it just so happened that one night in a youth club, these men came in and opened the door, uh, a fire exit door, and other men walked in and they set uniforms down on the table tennis table. And these men said, we are starting a Protestant paramilitary group to fight the IRA. Who wants to join? And that's it. That's how it was. Myself and most of the other guys who were involved in the gang also joined in the Ulster Defence Association. And that was the start of it. At that age, because of the fighting all the time, and uh, to me, violence became a big part of my life. You know, as I said, being a gang member, there was often many fights and things and beatings, and that, that became just a regular part of my life. I carried a weapon, and even before I left school, I carried a hammer in my school bag. I would hit people if they attacked me with a hammer. And so violence was very much ingrained in me at that stage. So when these men asked me to join the paramilitary group, I, at that stage, I wanted to fight the IRA. When I joined the paramilitary group, I was young at that time, and I would then steal cars for other terrorists to use. Uh, I would transport weapons around the city. And so you have to work your way through the ranks. But it happened then, I was arrested uh, when I was 17 and questioned about terrorist activity. And I was put in prison then, and I spent a year in jail at that time. So I turned 18 in prison. Because I came out of prison after a year, I was got put on probation at that sentence at 18. I came straight back out and joined another unit and got involved. And then from that, I went back into prison, got a five-year sentence. And, but at that time, you did half your sentence in jail before you got you know, released on parole. But we had political status in the prison at that time, so I learned more about weapon training and bomb making in prison than I did outside.